Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fung with week two, bass lesson. In this week, we will explore our All for Strings book and begin to read music notation and to pluck along while we are reading music. This is the All for Strings book. If you haven't obtained the copy of All for Strings, I highly encourage that you do so as soon as possible. It is a light brown coffee color book. All for Strings is written by Robert Frost, book one. And be sure that when you go to the shop to pick one up, it reads string bass. Okay, so we're going to turn to page 14 for this week. And on this page, I'll begin to talk about the different parts of the music staff and how we read music notation. Let's look at the very top, and we'll come across the staff. The music staff is the five lines where music notes are drawn on. Next, you'll find the bass clef. The bass clef is this unique symbol right here, unique to the cellos and basses. Basses will know to read this music because of this symbol, whereas the viola and the violin will have a different symbol. And the bass clef is normally also addressed, I uh, use called as a F clef, because the two dots here surround the note, the line F. Next, we'll find measures. Measures are the blocks here created by bar lines on the music staff. So if you look at number one, there are four measures. Here's one measure, second measure, third measure, third block, fourth measure. So if I ever ask for the first or the second measure, this is the first measure, we'll come right here or we'll come right to the second measure. Next is the time signature. There are two numbers stacked on top of each other, usually found at the very beginning of your piece of music. The time signature tells us how many beats there are in each measure and what kind of a note receives one count. In this case there are four quarter notes in each measure. The quarter note will receive one beat, such as right here. And next, the whole rests. The whole rest is this block hanging down from the second line of the top. A whole rest means that you're going to rest for four counts. You're not going to make any sound for four beats. Okay, now let's look at number one, D string. We read music notes like we read English, going from left to right. And you'll notice here in the time signature, it reads 4-4. Four, four. That means there are four quarter notes in each measure. And these are what we call quarter notes. A note is consisted of the note head, and the stem. Sometimes there are no stems, like you'll see over here. These are whole notes. But the stem here will help differentiate between the length of the note also, but we'll get into that later. So here we have four Ds. We read from left to right. I'll count you off. I'd like for you to read it with me. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 rest, two, three, four. D, 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 rest, two, three, four. And that's our first example. Let's look at number two, the A string. Now if you'll see the, the A string note head is way different from the D string note head. The A note is a bit lower than the D because the A note is a lower sounding note. And hence they would write and draw the note below the D. This will be A. We'll sing through number two. I'll count you off. One, two, ready, go. A, 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 rest, two, three, four. A, 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 rest, two, three, four. And that would be the second example a string. Now let's look at number three. If you look at number three and take a quick scan, you'll notice that there are no rests at all. So we have to keep our eyes open the whole time looking at the music. And this week, we've practiced playing our strings, plucking our strings without looking at our hands, even with our eyes closed. This way we are training for when we're reading music, our eyes can be focused on the music as opposed to looking down at our hands. I use the example of a television and a remote control. If we're flipping through the channels, 
we would not stare at our fingers while we're flipping through the channels, we would watch the TV. So just like the remote control and the TV, this is what's going on, and your instrument is your remote control, hence an instrument, okay, or a tool. So looking, taking a quick scan, you'll see that there's a whole row of D's, a whole row of A's, a whole row of D's, whole rows of A's, and there's a sequence going on, but then there's something different over here. So be aware, keeping your eyes glued to the music. We won't sing through this. I'm going to play right through this example right now, but when you're practicing at home, sing through it. So here's our D, and the A is the next lower string. A, set, I'll count you off. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 A, 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 D, 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 A, 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 D, 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 A, 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 D, D, three. Now, looking down to number four, half notes. This week we also talked about the longer notes versus the shorter notes. Up here we've been playing quarter notes. Like money, you'll see that there are four quarter notes in each measure, just like there are four quarters in a dollar. Here in the half note, there are only two half notes in each measure, and you'll see that the note is drawn a little bit differently. The half note has a space or an emptiness inside, whereas the quarter note is filled in. The half note receives two counts for each note. The quarter note receives one beat, one count for each sound. So the quarter note would sound something like this. One, two, three, four, D, 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 whereas the half note will receive two counts for each sound. You'll hear that the half note is a longer sound. D, 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 D. One, two, three, four. And when we pluck it, we just need to pluck it and let the sound ring for two counts. One, two, three, I'm going to pluck number four as an example for you right now. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, rest, two, three, a string. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And those are our half notes. Once you've gone through this page, I highly encourage our students to explore and pluck through the next page, numbers 5 through 12. And that's our lesson on quarter notes and half notes. Happy practicing.